I didn't step on that. That's bullshit. Also, why did my guy make a girl sound when I got hurt? Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands Overhaul. And uh, the capital punishment to mod list. Um, I am uh, picking up right where we left off in the last episode. We're about ready to enter this tunnel. Uh, we're kind of in a little bit of a predicament here because I have very little ammo. We expended almost all of our ammo in the last episode, killing two super mutants with the help of some of the folks from Big Town. Um, and then we are currently working on, what is that? Oh, I think that's that caravan that passed by. Uh, we're currently working on, um, Lucy's quest. Uh, what's that, what's that quest called? It's called Blood Ties. Um, so we found, we were supposed to deliver Lucy's message to her family and we found that her family had been killed. It looked like maybe they were burned or poisoned or something. Um, so now we're trying to locate this band of um, raiders known as the family who supposedly have taken Lucy's brother. All right, so that's where we are. Let's turn our light on and head on in. Okay, this is our first time down in a metro station. So these are kind of like Fallout's equivalents to going into caves or dungeons in Skyrim. Capital Armaments. Oh. Are you friendly? Hey there. No, you seem friendly. Is this a is this a vendor? Hey there. Hey. Oh, there's turrets up on the ceiling. Step forward and identify yourself. Uh, I'm OG. Let's see what you have. Made in the USA. Uh. Oh, he's got ammo. Oh, man, like the perfect place to come. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, we're going to buy all of your 5.56s. Um, even the armor piercing tranquilizer round. Huh. Um, and I'm going to buy all of your 10 mil if you have any. Oh, uh, wait. Tranquilizer round? I mean, yeah, I guess so. You don't. Wait, you don't have any 10 millimeter ammo, dude? Seriously? Oh, that sucks. Ammo box. Five, five, six surplus. What? How many? How much ammo is in there? I don't know. We'll take that though. Uh, we're doing fairly good on shotgun shells. Twenty-two. He, he's got a Chinese pistol made in the USA. <laughs> Mercenary Assassin. Oh, wow. Look, his stuff's like in perfect condition, man. Mercenary Assassin Pistol. That uses 9 mil. Does 52 damage. Hmm. That does a lot of damage. It's in per almost perfect condition. If not in perfect condition. <coughs> Chinese machine pistol does 77 <coughs> damage, but it uses 10 mil, which we're, we have hardly, uh, very few of. 
Navy combat armor. That gives us repair plus five and guns plus ten. Seriously? Look how expensive that thing is, though. But it's in perfect condition. 32 damage resistance and 10 damage threshold. OMG. That is some good armor. And the rest of the casings and parts and stuff. I need some large pistol primers. Um, a combat helmet. That's a decent helmet. I would like to have this armor. So you know what? Let's buy it. And then we're going to have to sell some stuff back to him. To make this work. Alright, let's sell him this sawed off shotgun. Let's sell him the eh. hmm. okay hold on. Let me just kind of look here. That gives a sneak. Okay so this armor that we're trying to buy already has five repair on it. And we can't wear this one and that one, so let's sell the Robco jumpsuit. For this particular scenario, I'm going to sell all of the crafting stuff. I normally wouldn't do that, but we need to make this work. Okay, good. Let's accept. Man, there's a lot of leg here. That leaves us with seven caps. Now, the, um, here, let's go to our, our apparel. This is what we normally use. That only has guns five. It does have energy weapons, but I'm not really using energy weapons. Whereas this has guns ten. So I think we sell him this too. Oh no! I should have had this on for barter. Shit. Okay, well, it's too late now. I gotta remember to put that on before I do any trading. Um. Yeah, I wanna keep the sneak armor. Alright, can um here, let's accept that. I'd like to like to get some large rifle or not, large pistol primers. That's gonna be 96 caps, damn. Okay. Well, let's um let's just go with this. We just scored a really nice piece of armor. And we got some 556s back. I don't know. Wait, what happened to that 556 box thingy? Here, let's exit. Goodbye. Closing dialogue system. Man, we're coming back here later too. Because his stuff's like in perfect condition. Okay. So it just said it added the surplus. What does that mean though? Oh, 250 rounds? Damn, son! Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Um, all right, let's go to... I, I'm excited. <laughs> let's put this armor on. It gives us an automatic fire repair and guns plus 10. It's beautiful. And then we'll keep wearing the motorcycle helmet for now. I mean, I don't know. The regulator hat will give us a five plus 5 crit chance, but it doesn't really have any armor to speak of. That's amazing. Okay. Um, how do we... How do we look? We look pretty damn well armored, man. That's how we look. Kind of goofy with the... <laughs> the motorcycle helmet, though. Oh, my God. 
That's terrible. Okay. Um, how how much Step did that? Forward and identify yourself. How much did that uh, other helmet Aiden. have that you, or cost that you have? This mercenary assassin pistol would be nice too, but we can't afford it now. That's eighty-seven caps. Okay. Well, I mean, we'll, we can always come back later. Closing dialogue. Very good. Okay, so we just got ourselves a shit ton of 5.56 five, ammo, and we got ourselves a really nice piece of perfect condition armor. Uh, oh, you got a workbench here, too. Nice. Uh, breakdown med kit. Dog hide belt. Sure. To make 10 mil rounds, we need lead, powder pistol, and large pistol primers. Okay. I have some of that back at the base. I'm not sure if I have all of it, though. Hi. Howdy. <laughs> that guy's funny looking. Uh, don't tell him I said that, though. All right. This just goes back to the sleeping. No, I'm not going to wake him up. And we're not stealing anything from Aaron. Not with turrets on the ceiling. I'm glad we found this place. Okay. Hey so, let's head on back out here now. And... Wasteland Wanderer outfit. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take that because if we come back out this way, we'll... We'll... we'll oh, sell stuff to him. Hello? You're not... Not here to... Try and steal my secrets, are you? No. Not at all. Good. I was afraid I was going to have to abandon my lab here. That would mean starting all over again. Okay. It's not easy trying to make Ultra Jet, you know. Ultra Jet? What are you talking about? You've never heard of it. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Okay. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. Um. <clears throat> okay, so you're saying that ghouls can use Ultra Jet to help alleviate their pain in this world? Is that what you're saying? So if that's the case, sure, I'll help you. It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. Sugar bombs. <laughs> I distill it down to its base contents and add that to the formula, then presto, Ultra Jet. Okay. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So you in? Sure. All right, Murphy, I'm in. Good. Now get going. I have a ton of preparation to do. Um, didn't I... Didn't we loot some sugar bombs? Oh, we have two. It's spoiled and I wouldn't eat it anyways. Hey, Murphy. So what did you bring me? Can I buy some alternate? Here's, here's all the sugar bombs I got. Good. Good. There's more out there, so go and find it. Fantastic. All right. We are aiding and abetting a drug manufacturer. Yeah, yes. But, uh... God damn it, you one ugly son of a bitch. <laughs> I like this guy already. You're looking for a problem. <laughs> <coughs> oh, my God. That was hilarious. All right. We're not going to steal their shit. We're just looking around. <laughs> uh, where does this go? Manhole to Moresti service tunnel with radiation. Yikes. There's a Braxo. Okay. Before we go down... Ah, you're back. Good. Not yet. Okay. Oh, is that all the further we can go? Looks like it. All right. Um... Before we go down there, then, let's go back in here, and I'm going to put on my 
trader outfit. Damn, I wish I would have put that on before we did all this. Step forward and identify. All right, let's sell him. Where did it go? Wastelander wander out fit. Okay, just to get a little bit more caps and not be so encumbered. Closing. All right, well, let's go down into this irradiated sewer, I guess. We should probably remember to put our combat armor back on first. Oh, the radiation's just by the manhole. So how do I... Hold on a second. Uh, okay, I guess that's just a different ammo type. Gotcha. Okay. Rotting Brahmin corpse. Do I have my light on? Oh, yeah, I do. It's really dark otherwise. My pit boy light's not very bright. Was making that noise. Oh, oh shit! It's a mire lurk. Can I get up here? Where to go? Tell you what, man. If um, if we're gonna be dealing with the mire lurk, I only have one armor piercing round. Okay, well, we gotta make this shot count. And then once we shoot him, that's that's all I got for armor piercing. Shit. Okay. <laughs> there he is. Well, we did a little bit of damage. Not much. Let's use up the rest of the normal 5.56s five, first. I wonder how susceptible he is to explosives. Let's wait for him to come back around the corner here. That didn't even phase him. <laughs> Shit. Let's try it again. We gotta get it to blow up by his belly. God damn, these guys are tough. There. We can't shoot him in the shell because it just won't do a damn bit of good. Gotta get to his belly. I was trying to wait till he flips up like that. Okay, flip up, dude. Flip up. Ooh, we got a good shot off on him there. Can we hit him in the limbs? Nope, when the armor thing pops up. Okay, do that again. What about the legs? Nope. Oh, he's actually hitting me. Whoops. This is really hard. He's hurting me. Thank God we got this armor on, huh? You have contracted frog eyes from a mire lurk. 
Jesus, these things are hard to kill. Alright, um, what the hell does frog eyes do? I don't even know if I want to know. Perception and less 25% crit chance. That's exactly what we needed. I wonder, <coughs> excuse me, I wonder if we could drop a landmine for him to drop. Step over. Let's wait till he doesn't. I was going to say, let's wait till he doesn't um, see us anymore. Okay, we're going to see if we can land to mine him. Wait till the caution turns to hidden. I don't know if he's coming around this way or not. If he is, though, we're going to blast him right in the belly. Okay, he's right there. Alright, just in case he can get over here. Um, let's put a... over here. Okay, can I pick that back up? Ooh, that hurt him. Yes! Ow! Damn! That hurt! <laughs> <coughs> Alright, let's go to aid and... Uh, aid and... Splint. Left leg. Ooh, left leg and right leg. Wait. They're, they're both banged up? I guess so. Holy shit. Okay, these enemies are tough. Just saying. Run. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Huh? Can I get up here? I can't fucking get up here. He's gonna kill me. Run. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit! My alerts can climb ladders. Murphy, help! Oh, sh well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Thanks, guys. Hey there. Hey there. I love you. <laughs> you saved my life. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. We'll take the Mirelurk meat. Well, that's our strategy. <laughs> we run back in here. And, uh, man, we are in bad shape. That's the story of my life in this game, huh? Okay, let's go back in. Getting some serious radiation going on here. Some of that damage is just because of my own landmines keep going off too close to me.
We probably would have succumbed by now if we hadn't have bought that nice armor. Lucky there. Can I disarm that? Hmm. Can, can we jump with our... Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. Here, let's... Uh... No, we can't sprint. I wonder what that does. Yeah, can we push? Uh, uh, uh. I was trying to tra spring the trap there. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, let's go. No bottles. I didn't see that there. <laughs> Shit. Ow. We are just getting the snot beat out of us here. There's there's a bear trap right there. Uh activate. My skill and repair is not enough. Okay. There's a, yeah, we're stealing that because I don't want to step on it A and B and use it. Yeah. Okay, note to self, landmines, watch for them. We are, our limbs are probably in such bad shape right now. <laughs> God. Oh, man. All right, well, we can, um. Look at the guys crying. I think I would be too if uh, I was hurt that bad. Okay, let's go. Let's go to aid and we can at least put some more uh, splints on. What does that do? I don't. I don't think this is addictive because. It's not a, a drug, it's a medicine. It's got the medical bag. But it's going to make us thirsty, though. How, uh... And we're not terribly thirsty. Okay, well, let's just... Okay, we really got to watch the ground here. Is there anything back behind over here? Doesn't look like it. I've been bear trapped. Right underneath the fucking mire look too. Really? I'm all the way back here? Oh, okay, so did this, this, oh, this must be where we came back in after we lured the second mire work out, because I think it saves when you enter a new cell. <sighs> okay, well, we have a second chance here to watch out for landmines and bear traps, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, also, let's fix our other leg. that. What the hell 
hell was that? Oh! <laughs> I think I tripped to trap the drop of grenades. And then I, but they didn't go off immediately. Wow, I'm just batting a thousand here. All right, let's go back over there again. This is brutal. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Okay. Jump over that. Now, I don't even know what I... Oh, that's what I hit. Activate? Does that mean take? Those the skill's not high enough to disarm this trap. Jeez. Okay, we really gotta watch where we're going. So we know that there's a frag mine. Somewhere right up here that I stepped on. There's a hammer. I need a sledgehammer. Yeah, there's the frag mine right there. Good. And then there's that one right across the way. It's like I had a premonition to know about these things. We're not ah! Oh, come on! I didn't step on that! That's bullshit! I'm like fucking three feet away from it! Also, why did my guy make a girl sound when I got hurt? <laughs> can I pick you up and get move you off the mine so I can grab it? Oh, no, that's not a mine. That's a bear trap underneath him. That's bullshit, man. All right, let's take another stim pack. Just looking to see if there's anything over this way. <clears throat> this reminds me of a metro. I don't think that thing hit me. Survival skill. Or if it did, our armor tank most of it. All right, so I guess the question now is which do we keep going this way or I think, yeah, I guess we'll go this way. Is that thing? <laughs> I don't know. Fortunately, we were, uh, you know, crouched, so it didn't hit us in the head. I hear voices. Oh! There's a guy there, and he's already detected us. He's not shooting on sight, so that's a good sign. Whoa, whoa, slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? Um. Hang on. Yeah, I have a letter for Ian West from his sister. Oh, the new kid? Yeah, Vance said we should be expecting someone soon. You can head on in, but I would speak to Vance first if I was you. You can find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. Okay. These guys sure don't seem like raiders. What is this place? This lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the headquarters of the family. Okay. Tell me about the family. We are a badass gang, and we don't take shit from nobody. Okay. We also don't like nosy assholes who creep around asking too many stupid questions. <laughs> okay, well, I can understand that. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. Gotcha, okay. 
See, I'm starting to think maybe the family's not quite as bad as... As... What's his fuck? Is making him out to be... Oh, I need that sledgehammer. Probably not a good idea to steal it, though. At least not right now, unless these guys become enemies. you again. What's up? Hey, Ed, not much. I just talked to you like 10 seconds ago. Um, I guess we go this way. Hopefully you guys don't have landmines inside of your base. That's the big train stopper thingy. Door to the Moresti Metro Station. What's down here? Nothing. All right, so this goes, looks like, to a dead end. Just had to check. You never know. Wow, look at these digs. Hey there, how's it going? Oh, just dandy. I think the new guy is so darn cute. Never had someone so young before in this place. Yeah, I guess. Hey, I really enjoyed last night, by the way. Thanks for the company. Bye bye. <laughs> you new here too? Uh yeah, but I need to talk to someone named Vance. Justin? Alan? Carl! Carl, are you a vendor? Well, well. I haven't had a customer in a while. Last one I had was a bit chewy. Know what I mean? No, but what that implies is a little foreboding. Um, I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? Do I look like a fucking babysitter? <laughs> I don't know where he is. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway. Okay. Um, can't you just help out without being so mean? Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Did I hurt your feelings? Okay. Tough shit. This is the real world. Okay, whatever. Um, what do you have for sale? If your caps are good... You are an asshole too, by the way. Um... He's got some 10 mils. Cowboy carbine. 45 auto. Not in very good shape, though. A railway rifle? Huh. Ooh, combat shotgun. That'd be nice to have. He's got a pretty good inventory of stuff here. Oh, sledgehammer. Uh, okay, hold on. Don't go anywhere. Say. Let's, um... Roving Trader. Yeah, that gives us barter five. You gonna gawk all day, or you... Okay, let me see what you have for sale. Weapons. That, that didn't look like that price changed at all. Alright, we're going to buy that from him. Then we can fix up our place. I'd love to have the cowboy carbine, but it's just not very good shape. And I'd love to have the combat shotgun. You only want 21 caps for that, huh? Alright, I'm going to buy it. Even though it's not in very good shape. Hopefully we can get it fixed up at some point. Uh, I don't think I have anything I want to sell him. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, here, you can have this stuff. Atomic Cocktail. Energy Fire Resist Rad 7. Eh, I think I'll sell that to him, too. You can have all of this meat. Crap. 
crunchy mutt fruit. Yeah, you can have that too. Um... Yeah, okay. That's all I'm going to do. A pleasure doing business with you. Oh, now you're nice. Uh, tell me about the family. We're the last people you want to mess with. That's for damn sure. Anything you can tell me about? E oh, no, he already told us to fuck off on that. What is this place? This place is my place of business. You want to buy something, then buy. If you want to flap your lips, take a hike. Gotcha, okay. Um. All right. Thanks for the sledgehammer, asshole. Appreciate it. We need to find Vance. He's got a workbench and a reloading bench. Good. Good to know. Resty Station. Uh, let's go up above. I finished my first round of studies and Vance said that I was doing great. I think I'm finally beginning to get the hang of it. Cool. I knew you'd get the hang of it. Good job, Alan. Hang of what? Well, see you around, I guess. All right, here, let's just talk to these guys. I don't think I've met you yet. The name's Alan. What did you want? Looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? I don't have any authority here. I'm pretty new myself. Justin's been trying to talk to Ian, make him feel better. Maybe you should speak to him. Justin? Okay. What is this place? Right now I call this place home. The only home that's ever let me stay with my problems. Okay. Tell me about the family. Well, anyone that Vance takes in because of their special problems can be part of the family. Okay. Special problems. Yes, I've never seen you. I thought I knew everyone in the family, but I don't recognize you. You must be one of Vance's new initiates. Maybe. My name's Justin. I'm pretty new here myself. I'm looking for Ian West. Ian, what do you want from him? Um, he's needed at home. His family is dead. Yes, I know. He told me. Oh, he knows his family is dead. Hmm. Surprised? Well, Ian was there when it happened and did nothing to stop it. If you ask yourself why, the answer is obvious. No. The answer could be many things. He belongs with us here. He's one of us. Don't deny him his rightful home. Um, anything else you can tell me about Ian? No, just that Vance said he isn't to be disturbed while he's in meditation. Okay, uh... I'm not ready to rile these guys up here yet, so... Uh, oh, what is this place? Well, Vance told me that this place was called Moresti. It was named after some town way across the ocean in a place called Romania. Okay. Tell me about the family. It's a great way to get back at those assholes out there who think we're losers. If it wasn't for Vance, I'd still be getting the crap beat out of me by those guards in Rivet City. Okay. Goodbye. I, I have a sneaking suspicion that something nefarious is at foot here. Let's talk to... You got the cash? Brianna. I got the time. Well, well, I'm surprised you don't know me. I'm Brianna. I take care of the men around here. Well, unmarried ones, anyway. Gotcha, okay. I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's supposed to be in there. Poor kid. He looks like he could use another friend. Uh, I could be his friend. Well, that is sweet, but Vance would kick my rather gorgeous ass right out of here if I told you how to find Ian. Sorry. Okay, anything else you can tell me about Ian? Nope. Like I told you, Vance has... Okay, what is this place? It's the last place I... I mean, look at this place. It's so dark and dingy. What this place needs is a lady's touch. But don't tell Vance I said that. Okay, tell me about the family. How about just the coolest gang this side of the U.S.? As long as we listen to Vance's rules and listen to his stuff, 
He lets us do pretty much whatever we want. Okay. Bye, sweet. See ya. Um. Okay, let's go up here. It's the least I can do, Dance. You give so much and rarely receive. I'm glad I'm here to help. Okay. Uh, Hello there, stranger. Hi, Holly. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Holly, Vance's wife. Well, hello, Holly. I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? I'm afraid Vance has him in isolation, and there's no way I'm going to override Vance's orders. He's a good kid. I think Vance will set him along the correct path soon, like he did for all of us. Uh, maybe it will, or maybe it's just messing him up more. Sorry, I think he needs to be with his real family. You just don't get it, do you? We are his real family, okay? Uh, all right. Anything else you can tell me about like Ian? Like I said, he's in isolation. It's his time to... What is this place? This is Moresti, the home of the family. It's the only safe place for these poor people. Tell me about the family. My husband started this group not long ago. He was trying to save them from a life of hardship and ridicule. They come from all over the wasteland now to find us and become part of the family. Okay. It was good talking to you. Yeah, for the most part. All right, let's talk to Vance. Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. Okay. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? This place is very different from any other settlements I've seen. It is. What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. Okay. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. Okay. Um, go ahead. We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Your ways. Men of science would call us cannibals. That's what I wondered. of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. Um, what do you mean? Humans call for our extermination or reform. Reforming implies something is wrong with us and needs to be eliminated. I think of my teachings as more of an improvement. A way to transcend our cannibalistic nature. Okay. If I accept that you're no longer cannibals, what do I call you? Wait, what? I thought he said he was a cannibal. Your people eat human flesh, Vance. That's sick. Um, That would be suicide right now. But he... Uh, I don't understand this because he said they are cannibals. Let's just try this and see what happens. Your open-mindedness is very rare for a human. I find that fascinating. Allow me to bolster your insight with a lesson in objectivity. I say we are no longer cannibal, only consuming the blood of our prey. So vampires? What would that make us in your eyes? Um, I don't know. Then that is a mystery you will have to solve on your own. Okay. In ceremony, each member of the family must speak one of the laws. It is theirs to remember and to enforce. Perhaps from these laws you can discover what we are. Return to me when you are ready. Okay. I think they're vampires because their legs twitch weird. The, uh, what's his name <clears throat> back at Arafu said they only come out at night and he just said they drink blood. So, yeah. And he kind of looks Welcome like Dracula. The resty human. <laughs> um, okay, so. Where does that leave us? Even if I did decide to attack all of these people, I, there's no way I'm going to be able to take them all on and kill them. 
And if they're vampires, they're probably even stronger than normal. So. I'm not sure what to do. Alright. That's a dead end. That door requires a pick or a key. Where does this go? Vance's terminal is locked. Vance's safe is locked. All right, well, I I kind of feel like my hands are tied here because I my lock picking sucks, my science sucks, my pickpocketing probably sucks. I don't even think I've tried to do that. I can't get through there without a key. What if I see Vance is by himself? I wonder if I tried to attack him if everybody else would come running too. All right, there was another There was another route down the outside tunnels. I wonder if that would lead us somewhere. Cuz the thing about these games, these Bethesda games is there's always multiple ways to complete a quest. I just wanted to and how are we you. doing I today? Feel you have progressed quite oh, well in adopting dandy. our laws. You should be proud. Oh, thank you, Vance. I mean, it's me that should be thanking you. Okay. Yeah, let's um can I do anything here? Activate the family's terminal. All right, it's not red, so let's see if we can do something with this. The five laws of the family. First law. First law, feast not on the flesh, consume only the blood. This is our strength. We do not eat the flesh of those we kill for food. We will only drink of their blood and leave the body intact. The consumption of the flesh is filthy and unclean. This action is what causes the humans to treat us like animals. We are not animals. We are the family. Okay, so now I think I know what happened to Lucy's mom and dad. I think Ian probably, well, I don't know if Ian turned into a vampire, but they probably had the blood sucked out of him. Disgusting. Second law. Second law, bear not the child, welcome only the exile. This is our fate. Because we carry the stain of our past in our bodies, we can never let it pass to our offspring, who would in turn carry out those foul actions, beginning the cycle anew. The family must seek the wasteland for others of its kind in order to maintain itself. That is our fate. Third law. Third law, feed not for pleasure, partake only to nourish. This is our dignity. We only kill the humans when we are hungry or when we must defend ourselves. We never hunt for sport or pleasure. We do not prey on children for they uh, for they are not yet tainted by society's view of us. The family will not tolerate murder. Fourth law. Seek not the sun's light. Embrace only the shadows. This is our refuge. Because we are creatures of the night, we must not set foot in daylight. We move silently across the ground only under the watchful eye of the moon above. At the rising of the sun, we must seek the embrace of the shadows and never again gaze at its brilliance. The family seeks the dark as its refuge. The fifth law. Kill not our kindred. Slay only the enemy. This is our justice. Above all, no member of the family will ever take the life of another member without the consent of the current leader. Anyone uh, disobeying this action, the most heinous of all our crimes, will be exiled from this place forever. We must not let our own inner demons cause us to fight amongst ourselves. We number only in the few, and we cannot risk extinction. Feeding grounds. These are perilous times for the family. We must feed, but the wasteland is a dangerous place. The only way to feed without massive loss of life is by getting close to the smaller human settlements. We will therefore use cunning and stealth to achieve our goals. No one is to forcibly enter any of their homes. We must keep our actions civilized. It's the only thing keeping us from being the animals they claim us to be. Regarding the Arafu incident, I do not want an incident like this again, happening ever again. 
I was very clear that we are not to represent ourselves in a hostile way. The killing of the town's Brahmin was an act that was both unnecessary and potentially damaging to my work. I am dealing with a very delicate situation in this town and I will not have it undermined by actions of revenge on humankind. Our time will come, I promise you, Vance. Okay. So that gives us enough information to know that these guys are indeed vampires, or at least, if not in actuality, they practice the ways of vampires. Um, and, yeah, I guess they need to survive like everybody else, but so do the humans that they're preying on. And if they killed Lucy's mom and dad and are preying on other people, then I think they need to be exterminated. And we need to try and rescue Ian before he turns into a vampire. So that is my decision. Now the next question is how to go about doing it without getting ourselves absolutely annihilated. Um, I'm, I have a feeling like it's going to be very difficult, if not impossible, for me to take them out one by one. I think if I attack one, they're all probably going to come running. You know, vampire senses and all that. Or game scripting. Anyway, um, but before we before we do anything more in here, let's go back out and go down the other end of that tunnel and just see if that gives us any other possible options. We could take him out first. Okay, before we, before we do that, let's just, like I said, go this other direction. Okay, we gotta be careful now, we're back in trap land here. So we didn't go that way, we came that way and then swooped around there. Okay. Okay, watch the ground. A pitching machine. <laughs> oh man, I am I am not doing a good job of watching the ground. That's funny though, man. Activate pitching machine. It's like that. The one moment I take my eyes off the ground, then that's when I hit the trigger the trap. Okay, that looks like a way out. Don't even walk within 10 feet of that damn thing. See, I could... I could potentially... Oh, I guess we're not getting out that way. You know... Adopt a live and let live stance against these guys, but the fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter if they're eating their flesh or not. They're still oh, there's a sledgehammer for free. God damn it! <laughs> they're preying on innocent people. Well, innocent being relative, of course. And the game just crashed. I gotta say though, you know, it's been actually running very smoothly, all things considered. Remember, we, we have almost 500 mods running here. All right, let me restart here. Okay, so we're back uh, when we... at the place where we left. Okay, let's go back this way again. Okay, we're at the Moresti train yard. Let's see where that is on the map. Okay, so we entered at the Northwest Seneca station and went all the way underground to the train yard. Gotcha. Well, 
What was that noise? So this is probably just the other side of that other tunnel that we didn't go down. Lead pipe. Alright, I'm not going to take that stuff right now. Alright, watch for traps. There's a bear trap right there. Yeah, this is just the other side of that tunnel. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I'm going... I had a feeling that wasn't going to end well if we stayed near it. What is that? A, a doll's head? Okay, well, I'm not seeing anything else this way. I forgot about the baseball trap. Of course I did. You guys would expect nothing less from me, right? Let's take a stem pack. Um, I think what we're going to do is see if we can take out this guard. We'll start with that. Theoretically, um, let's just use all those expired stem caps. Take an antiseptic. Ignore negative effects. Sure. Oh, fuck. Really? I didn't think you could become addictive to these. What does that mean exactly? Uh. <laughs> My guy's in bad shape. Uh, <laughs> well, we're in perfect condition at the moment. Um. I don't know what being addicted to Hydra means. I mean, what's what's it going to do to us? I don't know. Anyway, okay. So. We're in good shape. Um, let's also just go ahead and rat away. Just get rid of as much radiation as we can, which isn't going to be a lot. Okay, let's get this out, and I think what I actually want to do, ooh, tranquilizer round. Hmm, that's an interesting concept. Oh, and I just wasted it. See here, the reason I'm doing that is because the C key fires my weapon, but it's also the key in some games for crouching, and I'm just pressing it, intending to crouch and forgetting that I need to press control. <sighs> okay, well, so much for using our tranquilizer round. Uh, we're going to use these just so... Because uh, I don't know if it's going to switch automatically, so let's just use these rounds. You are suffering from Hydra withdrawal. Okay, what does that mean? Minus four endurance. Great. Now, if these guys are real vampires, then I'm probably not going to be able to kill them anyways with bullets. But I think they're just humans that are practicing the ways of vampires. That's what I think. So if we take this guy out, is it gonna, it shouldn't alert the rest of them. Oh, entry password. Nice. Okay. Alright, now, uh, 
tumblers today. I'm going to steal really useful stuff, but I don't want to overdo it because I don't want bad karma. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't get bad karma for stealing stuff from your enemy. Only from innocent people. Fuck. I, I just feel like this game's beating the shit out of me. I really do. <laughs> okay, let's not... God damn it. Let's not steal too much more. Ammunition box. We can't get in there. Uh, five millimeter rounds. I don't have anything that uses five millimeter rounds. Okay, we're going to leave all that stuff. If you guys don't remember this, or if you didn't watch the first episode, actually it was the second episode, uh, we don't want a negative karma because it'll really screw up our attributes. We want positive karma because I'm taking those. You've got to be kidding me. Really? Just for doing that once? Fuck. Do I even know? Can I tell what my karma is? Yeah, see this ideologue. That's the thing that we don't want. Um, well, I can't. There we go. If your karma is good or if if your karma is evil or very evil, you suffer harsher penalties to the same factors. So it has to be evil or very evil. Uh, I just don't know. How do I know what my karma is right now? I'm not sure how to do that. Okay, well, anyway. I could use that stuff. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> well, we've hopefully we've built up enough good karma to balance that out. Okay, so here's the thing. When we go inside there. Are these guys going to know we're now hostile? I mean, they th theoretically, unless they're psychic, they shouldn't know that. Is there anything over here? Uh -uh. So let's just go back inside and see what happens. Oh, I think they... Yep, they know we're enemies. Oh, run! Run? How come I'm not running? The question is, can we pick them off one at a time? Because it looks like he... It's just he that's coming. Here, let's switch to our silenced weapon. Oh, might help if we load it. Quickly, go here, grab, um, dem demolition charge. Whatever it was, I guess it's gone now. Okay. Oh, do we kill him? No, no, we didn't kill him. Come on around the corner, buddy. Why didn't it go off? It sounded like you tripped it, but it didn't. What the hell? That was weird. Assault rifle. Nice. Okay, we're hurt. And we are encumbered. <clears throat> I'm 
My marine carbine is still better than his assault rifle. That 10 millimeter submachine gun's pretty nice. Standard mags and recoil composite uh, com comp compensation probably right. Um, oh, for Pete's sake! I'm not even wearing my armor. So this armor is exactly the same as this, but without the perks. I wonder I'm getting hurt so much. All right, aid. Let's uh, let's do a military bandage and a stim pack. I'm addicted to stim packs. Really, I didn't know you could be addicted to stim packs. Let's do that right away and. I think I want to do that. I'll do an antiseptic too to help with the healing. <laughs> we're, we're in such terrible shape, man. Once we get to to the dock, he's gonna probably charge us 500 caps to fix us up. All right, good. So we got um got ourselves a nice batch of more ammo here. I need to try and heal up some more though. So what's okay, what does the combat stim do? It's movement speed, reload speed, food, hit points, sleep. Okay, that's something we might want to pop right before we go into combat. So right now I just want to get some hit points back. And now we actually have our armor on. It was stupid that I didn't have that before, but... Now, can I... Can I, um, trip my own landmines? Let's do this. Let's go to weapons. Okay, now... Let's switch to Range Master. Oh, also, we need to put this on because we're encumbered. Okay. Walk over the landmine, lady. These enemies are really good at juking. Yeah, yeah, you want some of this? Okay. They don't uh they don't just run right at you like a dumbass. Okay. They're also very good at avoiding my landmines, too, which sucks. Alright, let's try this. Uh, what's the flash? Stuns or dazes enemies? No, let's just use... Let's try an incendiary grenade. No, he got him! <laughs> Shit, he got us. Let's get our demolition charge. I'm going to put a couple down there.
All right, now let's go to our hunting rifle. Okay, good. Let's get a frag. Just need to make sure they're coming. Whatever it was, nothing here. Is gone now. Hmm. Nothing here after all. What? Found it. Where? Shit. Not good. We got two of them at the same time. Yeah, this isn't good. We got too many of them all at once. Okay. Alright, let's use let's use a frag mine. It does a lot more damage than the demolition charge does. Ooh. And we have to try and pull them without the other ones noticing. Okay, you know what? We need to do a test for science. I'm going to do a quick save. Can we set off our own... Oh, we don't. Okay. See, that's bullshit too. <laughs> but I'll take it. I'll take it. You know, the first time, now that I think about it, um, I got their attention because they spotted me and I didn't fire a weapon, which would alert more of them. Zig, zag, zug. Jam. Can't see it's all the gunpowder. All right. That uh, could have gone better, could have gone worse. Let's take one of those and one of those. He didn't set off any of our mines either, so they're still there for our next victim. Okay, he saw me. Good. Carl's right leg is crippled. Let's see if we can help him along on his way. Got him. <laughs> Did we get anybody else's attention? Oh, he was the Carl Supply Key. Nice. He was the asshole vendor. Okay, two down. Let's do uh, another frag mine. So there's two of them sitting together over there.
we I mean, I guess I could try and frag him. Okay, there's two enemies coming down the stairs and then those two right there. They're all together along with Vance. How about we do this? 